Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's March 10th, 2023, and we are in the Old Testament, and we are in the book of Exodus, and we're going to read chapter 15, verse 1 through 20 today. All right, so we just saw this miraculous escape of, of the Israelites. They were, they were trapped on a peninsula right up against the Red Sea. God parts the Red Sea. The Israelites walk across on dry land. When the Egyptians decide to follow them, the water swallows them up. So God triumphs over Pharaoh, he triumphs over Egypt, triumphs over their gods, all of it. God is supreme in, the, in all the universe. That's the message that we get. And that's the message that the Israelites receive. And hey, he's our God. So for, for this point, they want to sit and they want to worship him. They, they, they forgot all about that whining and moaning about how they wanted to go back. So this is the song that they sing right after they're saved and cross over the Red Sea. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord and spoke, saying, I will bring, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his armies he has cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. And in the greatness of your excellence, you have overthrown those who rose against you. You sent forth your wrath and consumed them like stubble. With the blast of your nostrils, the rollers were gathered together. The flood stood upright like a heap. The depths congealed in their heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My desire shall be satisfied on them. I will draw my sword. My hand shall destroy them. You blew with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, being doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand. The earth swallowed them. You and your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength to your holy habitation. The people will hear and be afraid. Sorrow will take hold of the inhabitants of Philistia. Then the chiefs of Edom will be dismayed. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, will take hold of them. All the inhabitants of Canaan will melt away. Fear and dread will fall on them. By the greatness of your arm, they will be as still as a stone. Till your people pass over, O Lord, till the people pass over whom you have purchased. You will bring them in and plant them in the mountains of your inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which you have made for your own dwelling. The sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. For the horses of Pharaoh went with his chariots and his horsemen into the sea, and the Lord brought back the water of the sea upon them. But the children of Israel went on dry land in the midst of the sea. Then Miriam the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took the timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with a timbrel and with dances. And Miriam answered them, Sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and its rider he has thrown into the sea. May God bless the reading of his word, and may God bless you. Bye.